Season 2 is upon us. We survived by the skin of our teeth last time around. And I had a very big summer. At £100 million to spend, just about. I would have got Anton Deck in to present it, but I can't find an outfit that's going to get my forehead big enough to be at my part in. Yes, that's right there, Ant! No, it's not working, that's, that's Welsh. But I spent pretty much all my money on a whole new squad. A whole new squad with lots of new players to pursue. And then I can't remember the words. It'll, it'll work. It'll work. Welcome to season two. Hope that doesn't put you off. <laughs> Yes, hello everyone, welcome to Season 2 of my FIFA 22 career mode. Thank you for all your support on the first season, all your support on the series so far. Thank you to everyone that's left a like and dropped comments and just congratulated me on managing to stay up. I'm not really sure how we did it. Today, we are kicking off with our first game of the season against Leeds United at Ellen Road. But before that, here is a little summary of what happened over the summer. Quite a lot, it's safe to say. So the transfer window got off to a solid start by buying in a couple of squad players. Uh, there's a free young uh, regen here in a player called Jonathan Dumont, who's a really interesting French CDM. Got him for ten grand a week as well as Antoine Pelnard, I believe, from Nice, who's a very cheap defender. Moving on then to Edmund Tapsover, who's one of my big targets for the window. You know all of our troubles at the back last year. I offered £48 million pounds just, uh, plus Jamal Lascelles for him and ended up getting him for 54 k a week. Not a bad signing. There were outs as well. Uh, Sean Longstaff has gone for £5 million. Pounds. And interesting, Callum Wilson has also gone to Sporting for £20 million, pounds, which I think is a very good deal for them. Maybe not so for us, but don't worry. I have replaced him with someone better, as you will see later. Speaking of better, uh, cult favourite, Mohamed Darama. You didn't think I wasn't going to sign him with you. £5 million pounds from Ajax for the 72-rated 20-year-old winger who can also play up front. Wages are pretty cheap as well from the Eredivisie. Lucky to have him in. Uh, Joe Willett didn't really get much of a chance for me last year. He has gone for £18.5 and so has Freddie Woodman. Then, this is the big one. Our biggest transfer to date, Andres, oh, sorry, Andres Alexander Isaac for £66 million from Real Sociedad. The wages took a little while to negotiate, but we did get there in the end. 70 k or so around there. Not a bad signing. We then followed up with another squad signing with Alejandro Benitez, who was a very solid right back, and finished off with Ainsley Maitland-Niles. I'm really happy with this signing. £7.1 million for what is a very good squad football who can play in a number of positions. I don't think that's a bad window. So what's the team looking like now then? Uh, a little bit like this. I'm sticking with our 3-4-1-2 because I think that if I get a whole fresh season, I can make this formation work. Henderson's in goal. You've got Milenkovic, Phillips and Tapsoba now as the back. You can tell I've got Milenkovic and Tapsoba as the two uh, centre-backs either side of Phillips because he's not as quick but reads the game really well. Taps over is obviously a lot faster, so is Milankovic, so it suits them to be out there. Sessegnon's going to be playing on that left uh, back position because he can also play a left winger, so I really want to try and get the most out of him this season. Van der Beek and Zachariah are still in the middle. So Maximum's going to be on that right hand side. I'm still, jury's out on that one. I think I still need to obviously do a little bit of work in that respect. Deli Ali is still playing at Cam. He got better towards the end of last season, but. A full first season, I'm expecting him to be better now with a full season under his belt. Isaac's up front, he just looks insane to be fair. He's 22 year old, 6 foot 4, pace to burn, physical is great, can't wait to use him. And our friend Morales will be doing it, uh, will be partnering him up front. Apart from Sir Maxman, there are no more Newcastle players, and Sir Maxman will hopefully be the one I'm going to keep. I think general consensus among most Newcastle fans is that. And Sir Maxman is their best player and probably will be the only one, apart from maybe Cam Wilson, that stays uh, during this new reign, if you like. Looking at Leeds then, Rafinha's playing in the centre of midfield. Calvin Phillips is out on the right. I'm pretty sure they got that the wrong way around. They got Alvaro Morata up front. Interesting. I will be changing shirt numbers after the transfer window, I promise. It's raining at Ellen Road. Hopefully that's not a prelude of what's to come this season. 
Right, well, we finished off the season relatively strongly last time out. We did get a few good results um, against some of the big teams. I think that's because they came out and played against us. So what I'm hoping is that this year, so there might be, oh, this is a good start. If Morelos can finish, there you go. There's one. I do expect a better season from us this time out. Alfred Morelos gets our first goal of the season against Leeds United. It's a really good finish. Lovely play by Donny van der Beek. Left footed pass straight into the path from Morelos on his weaker foot. He bangs it into the back of the net. Meslier completely stranded. This is a start. That is absolute scenes. Love that. 1 0. Cruising. I am really excited to play with Isaac. I can't wait to see how good he is in this game because I know in real life, obviously, there's big things uh, expected of him. He's having a very good season for Sociedad, so I'm hoping. Oh, that's a good save there. A very risky pass, by the way, so is that. Lee's are pressing me in here. I'm not used to it. And it's 1 1. And that's poor for me, to be fair. I should know better than that. Rafinha makes it 1 1. Maybe that's a good reason to have him coming in as from the centre midfield position. That's bloody irritating is what that is. And into Nat Phillips. Good turn by Nat. You can see a great ball out there. That is a wonderful ball from Nat Phillips. He fizzes it in. Morelos, one touch. Boom! Alfredo Morelos is making a bit of a statement. Who the hell who needs Isaac when you've got big Alfredo? It's that ball from Matt Phillips, and then Cessnion plays an absolute worldy, great first touch, bang, back of the net, wonderful finish. Cruising, 2-1 again, come on boys. There into Zachariah, he finds Alan St. Maximan, first, oh for Christ's sake. He could not finish his dinner, he's so erratic with his finishing. Morelos is brilliantly here, and he's played a good ball to St. Maximan, now this is where he is. Decent maximum around the corner into Isaac. Skips round one. Great save there by Meslier, but Morales keeps the ball alive. He's still got it. No, he doesn't. Deli Alley. I mean, we're playing some brilliant balls around the corner. We're going to be so much of a threat on the counter attack this year. 2 1 at the break. We should really be 3 or 4 up, to be honest. I'm a little bit disappointed. Morales on a hat trick. He's been exceptional so far. Great tackle, we're away again here, Isaac, he can just find him, he's onside Morelos, he's played himself, he's onside, he's definitely onside there, that's a ridiculous decision by the by the referee, taps over, I've barely seen actually, taps over, not a lot's had to go through really at the moment, but he's made a really good run, there. Ah! they're either playing a really high line or my passing is just a little bit off in terms of the timing. I'm going to bring on Lingard for Ali, and I'm also going to bring on Darame for Morelos. Uh, and yeah, I'm going to put, because I think Morelos has run his race a little bit, he's a bit tired now, and I need him to have that burst of pace. So on for his debut comes Mohamed Darame. Let's see what you got, young man. I've not played with him yet on FIFA 22, and as we all know, I'm a huge fan. So, don't let me down, mate. Win that. Yeah, we beat him right to the head there. So the Ailing plays it out to Tyler Roberts, who hits... That's Oh, do we do we want to talk about that nonsense? Who, who wants to talk about it? Suarez has literally been on the pitch one minute. If that look at this, this is nonsense. What part of that isn't FIFA nonsense? Two two. Can't believe it's two two. How do you defend that? Good tackle there. Come on, Alan. Go. Go, Alan. Some Maximan finds Isaac. He's too quick. You won't catch him. Isaac! That is a. Oh, this game is really testing me right now. Sessignon. Garat. This high line has been an absolute... This is actually possibly the most successful high line I've ever seen implemented on FIFA. Ball, hit it early, hit it early. Durame's in. Durame squares it. Isaac! Yeah! Get in! Durame with the assist and Alexander Isaac on his first game for the club. He's been threatening to do it all day. A 3-2 win. It's the least we deserve. Piss off Leeds. Have some of that with your bicycle kick equalisers and your nonsense Tyler Roberts shots. Great play here by Durami. He keeps his cool, puts just the right amount of pace on it. Goalie nearly makes a miraculous save. But it is not enough. 
Isaac, it's an awful finish to be fair, but I don't give a stuff. He has scored on his debut. Get in. 3 2. Let's see how much time he gives them to score. He hasn't. Get in. 3 2. We begin the season with a win, something that took me so long to do at the end of last season. We scored three goals as well. I'm looking forward to this. We look so much more potent going forward. It's a brilliant way to start the season. The classic entertaining game. Some absolute FIFA nonsense. But I will take it. Well done, boys. I can't believe it. We won. We won a game. First time out as well. And that's put us top temporarily top of the table. Interesting. But uh, what a start. What a start to the season. Cannot quite get my head around that. What do you guys think? Do you think this is the right level? It felt like quite an... I, I don't want to say it felt like an even game. Because it didn't. Because I absolutely bossed it. But it was still 3-2. Do you see what I mean? So I'm not really sure on what the level is like. Let me know what you guys think. Also let me know what you think my aspirations for the season should be. Where should I be finishing? with this team for me i'm thinking probably i would like to be maybe outskirts of europe potentially a top half finish is a must it's safe to say if i get a top half finish i'll be delighted but um let me know what you guys think in the comment section thank you so much for watching if you have enjoyed today please do remember to drop a like on the episode share subscribe let me know what you think of the transfer window in the comment section please engage please just obviously drop as many likes as you can just thank you all so much for your support it means a lot until I see you again, everyone, take care of yourselves and stay cool.